Hello there, welcome back to another uh, Bright Away Life video. This is Teresa. This is Bright. And uh, today we are going to be showing you how to, to make a kind of, uh, well, cruelty free deodorant really, and a cheap one. So cheap. Um, a little, there's a little segue into it. I mean, there's been a lot on YouTube and everywhere about this lately, about the difference in between plant-based and vegan. Mm -hmm. Even though, as I say, a lot of people call it a vegan diet. Vegan is a lifestyle, not a diet. Yes. Di diet, plant-based, fair enough, when you don't eat any more animal, any, let's try that again, any animal products. Veganism, as we said before, is basically avoiding anything to do with animal cruelty whatsoever. So that means well, clothes, as much as you can. Food, as much yeah. as you can. So, uh, yeah. That's basically food, clothes, Anything really. Yeah, so, toiletries yes. and stuff. So yeah, yeah all vegans are plant-based, but not all people who are plant-based are, are vegans. Vegan. So you see, veganism is for life, not just for lunchtime. Yeah, I mean, we did see a video recently where someone said that they were vegan, but they had the odd animal product to eat every so often. That doesn't make you vegan. You're not vegan if you do that. I don't care what anyone says. We've seen that on a few videos. Yeah. So yeah, um, I will uh, hand over to uh, Tressa now to explain the uh, deodorant yeah. and yeah, go from there. Yeah, because the thing is, being vegan, you are trying to cut out all animal products and it's, it's, it is tricky. And a lot of the time, which we've noticed is, it's also can be quite expensive. Deodorants is one of those things. There was somebody that um, was extolling the virtues of this amazing deodorant they found. And when we looked at the, the, the prices, it was like, Eight or nine quid for a little yeah, thing like this. Yeah, we can't afford that. We can't afford that. We, it's, so it's a choice between making your own or stinking. So in this video, you're going to find out how to make a cruelty-free vegan deodorant that costs pennies and it will have mostly stuff that you've got in the house already. Yeah, and to be fair, it's probably a lot healthier than the stuff. You, you can actually buy cheap vegan deodorants I think aren't you like sprays but, and stuff yeah but they're still kept nasty it, chemicals yes yeah. so yeah this yeah. is about all about that really so this has five ingredients in and yeah it takes literally minutes yeah. you don't need any special equipment this recipe that you're about to see is mega simple and there are lots of them uh, doing the rounds on the internet a lot of them are a lot more complicated this is my version of it you'll find some will have like more bicarbon but i've got kind of quite sensitive skin so mine has less bicarbon but i tell you what it still works you put it on at the start of the day and you're still smelling nice by the end before we go over to the video i would like to explain one thing one thing you may look notice that both tresses and our hair is looking a bit rough We've got no boiler at the moment, yeah, it broke. It broke. Uh, we are getting it fixed. And the other reason as well, you may notice that I might look a bit absolutely exhausted. Basically, I'm working, uh, um, I lost my job a little while ago. I'm having to work, I've got another job part time at the moment though, but it's money coming in, working nights. And um, yeah, I'm not used he's, to it yet. He's not a night person. <laughs> I'm exhausted. He's not a morning person either. He's kind of like a middle of the middle afternoon, of the but half past three kind of yeah. person. So there we go. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, just thought I'd explain that before anyone goes, oh, they're vegan. They're vegan, they look rough. No, no it it's called life. life. <laughs> it's called life and surviving a pandemic. So yes. over to the video. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. So, 
so that's the video. You can see how quick was that? Um, it literally takes about five minutes to make and all you need is five simple ingredients. Um, you don't even need to have both the corn flour, cornstarch, and the arrowroot. It's just that arrowroot is a nice sort of softer and silkier. You can use all arrowroot or you can use all corn flour. It's up to you. So four or five ingredients, how easy is that? And, you know, pick your scents. I happen to like geranium because it smells of roses, um, but basically you can have whatever scent you want and you don't get that for pennies if you just try and buy that. I'll have to do a pricing of it sometime, but it's probably well, well under a pound and the amount that I made um, will last me months. In fact, I would say you can uh, quadruple it or double it or whatever and make a larger amount, but it lasts for so long. Chances are you might get bored. So just make it in small batches. Um, and if you live somewhere that is permanently warm, you might want to perhaps not like where out, we live. Not like where we live. <laughs> you might want to swap out some of the coconut oil for perhaps something like shea butter or coconut coconut butter, coconut butter, cocoa butter. Ooh, coconut butter. I'd be. I just end up eating it. No, I wouldn't. No. So just to make it a little harder, or you can keep it in the fridge. But like I said, that's how simple it is. What's your favourite sense? Let us know in the comments and well, just gently, just let us know how you get on. If you make this yourself, we'd love to know what you've done and if you've made any changes to the recipe. So uh, if you uh, liked the video, please give it the old thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and, uh, oh, and don't forget to hit that bell. Hit the bell. To let you know when the yes. uh, another video is coming along. Like, subscribe and ding a ling a ling. Basically, yeah. <laughs> And uh, we will uh, see you in the next video. Okay, okay. Cheers, guys. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's easy for you to say. Hello there. Welcome back to uh, another video. Uh, Bright Away Life. Uh, this is Tressa. This is Brian. And uh, yeah, to, I will hand over to. Uh, no, we won't do that. We won't do that. <laughs> I'm going to look at there as well. Okay. Ready? Ready. Right. And I think I've waffled on far too long now. No, no. you never waffle. Shall I try that again?